Hello, it's Marion Stewart and welcome to my weekly wisdom. Today I'm focusing on phytoestrogens, Mother Nature's little estrogens that help us to cope with menopause. And I'm doing that because I am inundated with people asking me if they're safe to take because they've read articles reporting that they may not be. So I just wanted to set the record straight because there are literally tens of thousands of medical papers on these substances. And if you think about it, Asian communities around the world have been consuming naturally occurring estrogen as part of their diets for centuries and they don't have any major health problems. In fact, when you look at the research, you find that estrogen dependent cancers are about a half that we experience in the Western world. And they did a study where they followed a group of Asian women through to America. And when they started eating a Western diet, they started to get the diseases that we get in the Western world. So you can see that they do have a protective effect. But one of the main concerns, or two of the main concerns actually, one is breast cancer and the other is thyroid problems. So I have always recommended things that are scientifically based. And if I'm never sure of something, I contact a professor or an academic person who has focused on this area of research. And I've always got medical papers to support all the recommendations. And in fact, in the last couple of years, there have been studies published in prestigious journals from Harvard and the American Medical Association showing that these isoflavones, these phytoestrogens, mother nature's little estrogens are perfectly safe. In fact, for breast cancer survivors, they show that by consuming these, you actually reduce your likelihood of getting breast cancer again. So rather than it being a worry, it's actually positive news for everybody. And if you've got thyroid problems, again, I'm inundated with people asking me about this. You can still take these isoflavones. You can still take soy products. You may have to adjust the dose of your thyroid medication, which you can do with your doctor over time, but it doesn't have any adverse effects. So you can benefit. And what we're trying to do with these isoflavones is we're trying to mimic what estrogen was doing before the menopause. So you had estrogen flowing around your system and you've got little receptor sites within your cells and the estrogen pops into that and keeps everything satisfied. And it keeps your hormones on an even keel, but it also protects you from things like heart disease, bone loss, osteoporosis, dementia, diabetes. So there are so many good things and even depression. When your estrogen levels begin to fall at the time of the menopause, your brain doesn't understand because 100 years ago, we weren't living much past 50. But now when 50 represents halfway for many of us, we do need to keep ourselves in good shape and we need to replace that estrogen in our receptor sites. So by consuming naturally occurring estrogen little and often throughout the day, things like soy, flax seeds, red clover, you can literally fool your brain into thinking that you've got normal circulating estrogen again. So you just need to work out how to take these naturally occurring estrogen little and often into your system to keep yourself in good shape and symptom free as you're going through the menopause. So thanks very much for joining me. Don't forget, you can go to my website and sign up for my newsletter and come and attend one of my masterclasses to find out more about what's going on in your body and how you can fix it.